There we go. Right, I guess this is D log documentation log number two. Uh, but this one has an agenda behind it. Right, so recently um, I've got fed up with how much time I spend on my phone. Um, when I was working, I would spend, well, I would, you know, I'd have to spend time on my phone in the morning um, before I went to work and I'd leave to work at the last second. I'd sleep in and stay on my phone and when I get home from work is I'd go straight on my phone and scroll Instagram and scroll Facebook and and just waste time on my phone until bedtime and then I'd go to bed. And I just it just got like it just consumed me. Like I'd spend, you know, maybe thirty minutes in the morning before work and I might spend like two or three hours after work just mindlessly scrolling um, and I hated it so I got fed up and I was like I've been on the like on the hunt for a new phone um, for one particular kind of phone so for me my requirements are like music I enjoy driving and listening to music music I need maps I need internet banking and like Facebook Messenger so that limits it. I mean, that's most smartphones can do that. You might as well just have a smartphone, uh, whatnot, etc., etc. Um, so I needed to find a phone that could do all those things, um, which are smartphones. But I was got fed up one day. I saw, you know, I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but face recognition with iPhone, um, it takes a photo of you every five seconds. I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I don't really want them to take a photo of me. I don't really need them to know what I look like every five seconds got fed up hopped online searched up for my phone that I'm after and I found this and this is the cat s22 flip so it's a flip phone it is very 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 gangster so you've got the the button pad I think it's in focus you got the button pad so I can do typing on here but it's also touch screen so majority of my typing is through the touch screen you can see I've got all this here and it's simple so I've got Facebook Messenger which is one of my requirements I've got um, I've got Spotify oh my gosh it doesn't really want to focus that's fine I've got Spotify Facebook Messenger I do have unfortunately Facebook and Instagram for now give me a moment I like networking um, I have internet banking, um, Zello, which is a little uh, radio app. It's got all my apps. I've got the Bible. I can listen to my music. I can go to Facebook if I need a, you know, Facebook Marketplace something. <laughs> Buy another car. Um, I got Facebook Messenger because that's my one of my main ways of communication, um, and it's great. It's been very handy. I love this phone, it's simplified life. I don't spend hours and hours upon hours um, at night time on my phone anymore. I'm not checking it every five minutes in conversation, like, ah, you know, when I'm out with people when you know how you check your phone. I don't check my phone really. Um, I don't need to, I don't need to pull this out, you know, it, whatever. I get less notifications, it doesn't have a screen, it has, ah, crap. It has, <laughs> has this screen here, um, which says, it's got Kanye and Kim on the front at the moment. Um, it, like, it says if someone's called me or if I've missed a text message, it doesn't show Instagram notifications, all this crap. Um, and I spend less time on my phone. If I don't see the notification, I'm not going to look at it. It's made by Cat, so the brand. The brand Cat, Cat Caterpillar, ah, uh, focus. The brand Cat, um, which is the same brand that makes those diggers and stuff like that. So it's pretty indestructible. It's made flipping rugged as. It's got a screw to keep on the back plate. Like, like it's tough as guts you know like I um, and I'm not even being like silly when I do that because like this thing is made rugged as because I would say I'd be ad I was addicted to my iPhone um, and it sucked I hated spending as much time as I did on it and I found this and I've spent far less time on it now so if you're wanting to wean off using a smartphone the cat is perfect you've got all that crap you need if you want social media if you need your music if you need your um, 
internet banking. I can. I've even got Flamingo in here. So I, I hired one of those like scooters the other day in Wellington and just rode around. Like you can do literally everything a smartphone can, just inconveniently. Very inconvenient to use for a long period of time, which is the detraction, which is kind of what I wanted, as I wanted something that was going to detract me from using it. People were like, oh, how much does it cost? So New Zealand dollars, it cost me $360. That was including shipping. So I think it was about like three, 320 for the phone. It's like kind of a lot for shipping. Um, it's a little bit hard to find these phones. Um, there's a website called NZ Sale that sold this one to me. Um, but people are like, oh man, that's so expensive for just a flip phone. I'm like, well, to be honest with you, I've kind of bought my life back. And I'd be happy paying $1,000 for this phone because like if I spend six, I don't. And... It was probably days where I was close to it, but if I, if you spend six hours a day on your phone for ten years straight, you've spent two and a half years consecutively, like each day, twenty four hours straight on your phone, and I think a lot of people would be close to that six hour mark. And I've owned, I've, I, I got my first iPod when I was eleven, and I'm twenty one now, so I have owned a smart device for ten years and have used a smart device daily for 10 years now it's scary to think like how long i would have spent on my laptop or my phone over the last 10 years so this is just a stepping stone i would love to get phoneless maybe even just like really dumb phone where the features are like i can pick up a call and i can send a text um, but realistically i depend on a phone quite a lot and I would like to not be dependent on a phone and I think this is a great step to getting there so the cat s22 flip is a awesome choice recommend it you everybody should get one and forget the rat race of cell phones and the control they have over our lives I would I, I'm just I'm simplifying life like I I want to eat better, I want to train better, I want to get fitter, I want to live a simpler life with less possessions and if people people who know me like I am, I'm not like a, like I don't have heaps of possessions but I have too many, you know like I have, you know I had four cars, um, it's just like everything just excessive so I want to simplify life where I don't have millions of possessions, your possessions start to own you um, and that's scary, so I'm trying to live a simpler life. One thing I was kind of hoping would be better was the battery life. Definitely doesn't last as long as, like, what I was expecting. To be honest with you, it's probably almost the same as an iPhone. Like, it can't go more than a day. Um, I mean, some days I've made it to, like, you know, I might like, at the moment, it's 3 o'clock and I have 70% left. So it's not bad. Um, but I haven't really been using it today. So, like, if I'm in, if I'm in Wellington, if I'm in town, um, and I need to use it for uh, communication or uh, whatever, whatever, for meetings and stuff like that, I can go through a battery in a day. And sometimes it's died before the end of the day. So the battery is a little bit of a downfall. That's probably it, though. Buy one, swap over to the simple cell phone lifestyle. I think I bought it on my birthday, and that was on May the nineteenth, and it is. August the 3rd, so I've been a couple months with it, but I've been about full time since about four weeks now. Anyway, this is the end of D Log 2. Um, my friend Alex, um, he sent me a message and it was very detailed. Um, it was, probably can't read it, but it's W, w Log. Oh no, W D Log. So my friend Alex texts me <coughs> and he's like, W D Log. So I saw the message about before five minutes before I started filming this and I was like you know what I'm gonna film a second D-log let's keep the ball rolling so by the time you see this um, my next well hi this is D-log 2 um, I'd like to keep it up keep you updated um, for the last D-log I gave a bit of an update of my life this D-log I am reviewing the Cat S22 and for the third one I'm gonna talk a little bit about the vehicle I'm in right now I've been a little bit under the radar most people know about this van some people don't um, but I guess these D-logs are going to be like a bit of a documentary of my life and the change I'm wanting to do um, to, pff, I don't even know, to, to become who I'm wanting to be. Thanks for watching. Shot for joining in. This is going to be good. I hope so. I like filmmaking and I'm not making excuses for it anymore.
I just want to document and tell stories and encourage and um, yeah, it's a journey, life's a journey, so why not document? Anyway, D-Log 2, finished, shout out to Alex, my man, I love you, D-Log 2, out. Ba 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 sa 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 I also love boxing. I've been really inconsistent lately. Oh, but I love boxing, man. Oh my gosh, the ability to fight and stand up for oneself is gangster. Ba 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 ba. You would have died then. I would have just killed you. Like if that was like for real, and I was actually trying to kill somebody, you would have died. Cause I am muscle maniac. Goodbye. See ya later. Goodbye. See ya later. <laughs> right now, see ya later. See ya later. See ya later. <laughs> right now, see ya later.